Welcome to 10 Minute Teach with Mr. A. In this video, we're going to be using short multiplication to multiply a two digit number by a one digit number. Okay, let's get to it. What I recommend doing at this point is pausing the video and writing these calculations down, maybe even having a go at them first and then checking your working against mine. Okay then, so we've got three questions to have a go at here. Now the first one is 23 multiplied by three. So what I'm trying to do is make 23 three times larger. And the way to do that is to set it up just like this. So 23, my multiply symbol just there, and three just there in my ones column. Now what I would always recommend is putting our ones, tens, and hundreds in there, just to make sure that we keep everything beautiful and in line. Okay, and so what we do is, because we're multiplying by three, we're going to start at the ones digit, and then we'll move on to the tens digit in a moment, and we'll multiply those both together. So three multiplied by three is nine, and then we move on to the tens digit, so two multiplied by three is six. So 23, three times larger, is 69. Okay, so let's move on to our second number. So we've got 34 multiplied by 7. And again, we'll pop that in there. There we are. Right, we're all set up, ready to go. So we do the same thing. So we're going to start at the ones digit. So 7 multiplied by 4 is 28. This time, I've got a number that's larger than 10. So I always put my units where I'm working and carry over the tens digit. And then I've got three multiplied by seven or seven multiplied by three. It will give you the same thing. Whereas in reality, if you think about this, it's 30 multiplied by seven, but we'll come back to that in a moment. So three sevens are 21, add the two makes 23. I've got nothing else to multiply by. So I can just write 23 straight in there for an answer of 238. So because in reality we've got tens and ones that we're multiplying by, we actually have 30 and 4. So the 3 isn't just a 3, it's actually 30, so it's 10 times larger. So therefore, that means that we've actually multiplied 30 by 7, and then we've multiplied 4 by 7 and put those together. Our last example is 75 multiplied by eight. So we're going to do exactly the same thing again. So 75 multiplied by eight, we're going to put in our big equal sign at the bottom there and our place value headings, just in case you need them. So five multiplied by eight is 40, five eights are 40. So unit down like we did earlier and carry that tens number over so I don't forget it. And then seven multiplied by eight is 56. And I've got to add that four on so I don't forget it. 56 add four is 60. So we've got 600. So 75 multiplied by eight, so eight times bigger is 600. If this video has helped you today, then please consider checking out my other videos, maybe leave a comment for any that you'd like me to do in future, and also maybe a little subscribe as well. Until next time, guys, goodbye.